The Washington Post is reporting that Trump is isolated, angry, and vengeful. But why be mad? You are going down in history as the number one horrible president. The Washington Post is reporting that Trump is isolated, angry, and vengeful. But why be mad? You are going down in history as the number one horrible president. You are number one. You beat George W. Bush, who stole his election, turned a blind eye to intel, and let America be attacked by terrorists? You beat him. He only had the blood of 3,000 American civilians on his hands. You have almost 400,000. Bush started a war for oil and killed several hundred thousand Iraqis, but you, you killed your several hundred thousand right here on American soil like a patriot. I noticed you didn't start any wars, though. That's good. You did it the right way. You let the arms manufacturers cash in on proxy wars like the one in Yemen, where Iran and Saudi Arabia are duking it out with our guns and bombs, and the majority of cable news watchers barely made the connection between you and it. Brilliant! Meanwhile, even though you didn't make a war, you still deserve credit because you still used billions of military funds to pay for that wall on the southern border. It really was kind of a war just on rare butterflies and cacti instead of the usual brown people. Sure, your wall isn't finished, but now that you're out of a job, you'll have plenty of time to go down there and work on it. Anyway, here are some things that I think you would be proud of as you think of your legacy. Mind you, most of us would be appalled, but you, you. Number one, you cut taxes on corporations who promised to make jobs, but then bought their own stocks instead of hiring people. You couldn't have seen that coming. Two, you cut through all kinds of red tape and let the fossil fuel industry ransack the world for profit. Unfortunately, the coronavirus came along and everybody stayed home and travel and energy use plummeted and the skies got all clear and blue. Bummer. Asthma dropped. You could take credit for that. No, just know that you did all you could. I mean, you opened up the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge for drilling, but the only one who bought... The 1.6 million acres was the state of Alaska. Oil companies couldn't get the banks to back the projects, and even your own death cult doesn't really support it, but you made a promise and you carried it out. Number three, you finally separated hundreds of kids from their parents, liberated from any understanding of the importance of the parental bond on development because of how your parents treated you, you were able to liberate hundreds of others from the bondage of a loving, protective relationship. Hey, some of them are still out there free of it. And you put those empty cages that were already built by previous administrations to use. They were just sitting there. Number four, you made friends with countless American enemies, autocrats across the globe. I mean, what you did with Lil' Kim Jong-un was amazing, even if he didn't ever agree to give up his nuclear weapons. And number five, you made sure the will of the persons shall be protected under the law. All the persons, be they large corporate personhoods or small private corporate personhoods, they will be protected for years to come by your right wingification of all the judiciaries from the Supreme Court on down. You have assured justice for individual religious zealots who have been unduly burdened by the fact that other people also have rights. You did that, President Trump. Congratulations. You shall not soon be forgotten.